Here's an overall vector uh, represented by V, making an angle of theta. Here's our axes. Please try to break this overall vector into components. You needed to start by writing down the positive directions. Always write down the positive directions. Now we need to draw a right triangle that represents this. Maybe I'll start by actually putting just in the asterisks to remind myself these are the givens. Now we're ready for the right triangle. Well, we're going to have to assume that this dashed line is parallel to the x-axis. Otherwise, we really can't solve the problem. Well, if we assume the dashed line is parallel to the x-axis, then we know that one of the legs should be along the dashed line. Because remember, the legs are supposed to be parallel to the axis. So I'm going to draw in one of the legs along the dashed reference line. It's not really clear yet how long that leg is going to be, so I'll, lot, I'll draw it longer than it's going to be. And then over here, I need to draw the other leg parallel to the y-axis, and I need to draw it so it ends up perpendicular to this. So doing the best I can. to draw this leg. If I really do draw this parallel to the y-axis, it should come out perpendicular to the other leg. Since the axes were perpendicular, if the legs are parallel to the axes, the legs will also be perpendicular. Now I can erase the rest of this leg. That line turned out not to be that long. Let's label the sides. Always a good idea to label everything you can. Label everything you can. This side is parallel to the x-axis. This side is parallel to the y-axis. I should be using V, not W, huh? V sub X and V sub Y. Remember to use substrings. V sub X looks like this. This is not correct. This is not a subscript. Remember, a subscript is a smaller letter that is down and to the right of the original letter. So this is wrong. This is not the way to write V sub X. This is the way to write V sub X. Writing good subscripts uh, is, strangely enough, one of the keys to success in physics. So start getting into the habit of drawing good, clean, clear subscripts. subscripts. Also try to get into the habit of indicating what the question is asking you for. Well, I ask you to break the vector into components. That means you have to find the components. The overall vector is the hypotenuse. The overall vector is always the hypotenuse, otherwise we've drawn the right triangle. We've drawn the, uh, the overall vector is always the hypotenuse, otherwise we've drawn an incorrect right triangle to represent the vector. Uh, now the x component here looks like it's adjacent to beta, and the y component then would be opposite. To find the adjacent side, we multiply the hypotenuse times the cosine of the angle, because of cut, cosine based on adjacent. The adjacent side has a magnitude of v sub x with a dot. The hypotenuse could be represented by v or v dot. The precise symbol is not so crucial for the overall vector because there is no sine diversion of the overall vector. That's as far as we can go with the magnitude, but now we have to figure out the sign. Oh, well, it uh, looks like I forgot something, huh? I forgot to put the arrows in on the legs of the triangle. I gotta go back into reverse and put those arrows in. Remember our trick is to imagine that the overall vector is pointing away from this initial point and towards this final point. This overall vector v is pointing away from this initial point and towards this final point. So the components should be pointing away from the initial point or towards the final point. Well, then this component would be pointing this way, because this is away from the initial point. And this component would be pointing this way, because that's towards the final point. Now we're ready to figure out the signs. Uh, w sub x is pointing up and to the right, but the positive x-axis is down and to the left. So our x component was negative. And we already know what the magnitude is. We can build that into our sketch now. The opposite side is the length of the hypotenuse times the sine of We're just focusing on the length of the opposite side, so we need the magnitude of v sub y, indicated with a dot. 
keep trying to get used to this notation of when we use the dot and when we don't. I think you'll benefit from that. Now, our hypotenuse is V. This is as far as much as we can figure out now about the magnitude. So let's figure out the sine component. The y component here is pointing up and left. And the positive y-axis is also pointing up and left. So that came out positive. Remember that if you leave out the positive sign, it's really not right. The answer isn't right unless you include the positive sign on the sine component. So here's our components. Don't move on until you've mastered this problem and, of course, the preceding problems.